Hey guys, it's Gordon Fasting by Fungi. We're up in the woods of Vermont. We found another beautiful polypore mushroom. This is a Meropilus or black standing polypore. And it's a brown rot fungi, so it's growing here on this decaying stump, probably fruited many years in a row, but it is digesting the cellulose in the wood, producing this beautiful mushroom. And you can confuse Meropilus with Chicken of the Woods or Berkeley's polypore or other different polypores because it looks fairly similar. But this mushroom, its distinctive feature is that it stains black. So you mess around with it a little bit and it doesn't happen immediately but within a couple of minutes, the whole thing that you've touched and messed around with will turn black. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit. And the way to harvest polypores is to stay away from like the tiny little nubs and bits of primordia you see, and instead cut along the leading edge. These also, polypores tend to get pretty tough. So the bottom of this is pretty woody, but up here on the leading edge is still quite tender and really delicious. I absolutely love Meropilus. I think it's a great eating mushroom. It's, it's really kind of freaky though, cause you pick it and it looks white like this. And you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. And then you put it in your basket and you get home it's completely black and when you cook it it also gets a little bit iridescent and kind of shiny which is a little off-putting too so the first few times I picked this I kind of chickened out and didn't really eat it I tried like a little bite but didn't really appreciate it and just recently I went back and tried it again and was like wow this is an exceptionally good polypore it's on par with chicken of the woods or anything else just a quick fry up in a pan is a good way to do it and be be really aware of like where where the tough parts are so I might have actually cut this a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off a little bit more just kind of carefully try to take the parts that are most most tender and again you know thinking about sustainability when you harvest don't pull the whole thing out of the ground just cut the leading edge because the way that these grow they're indeterminate mushrooms so they're not preformed. instead they're growing out in series every time you get wet you have good conditions moisture they'll grow a little bit more so this can continue to grow quite a while and it's important that we let the spores continue to expand around the environment and keep the mushrooms going so I'm gonna go ahead and just harvest a little bit more but this is a really beautiful Meropilus or black standing polypore. Uh, look at this Meropilus. Ooh. And there's all these little primordia. So we're gonna leave those and just harvest the edges of these mature shelves. But what a cool, cool polypore. Black standing polypore, Meropilus. Wow, check out this awesome haul of mushrooms I got today. I have a whole bunch of hen of the woods. Found this growing under a dead oak tree. So this is a great edible polypore. It's kind of brownie on top, gray underneath, little pores. Found some Sewillus, those are known as slippery jacks. They have little pores underneath too, kind of yellowish. These are edible, probably granulatus, given the little uh, dots on the stem. We have some puffballs or lycoperdon mushrooms. So these have little spines you can swipe off and these are good to eat as long as they're all white inside. Uh, we have some Meropilus or the black staining polypore. So this has little pores underneath. And if you mess about with it, well, it turns black, thus the black staining polypore. We also have a whole bunch of chicken of the woods. This is Latiparus sulfurus, and it has a yellow underside with tiny little pores and orangey topside and grows in shelves. So these are all delicious edible mushrooms. Oh, not this one. It's Ganoderma. This is too hard to eat. This would be like trying to eat wood. But you could grind it up and make a tea out of it, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's not really worth it. So anyhow, these are all beautiful mushrooms that I found up in Vermont this weekend. Pretty cool.